Hey y'all, I am finally back for another video. I am so sorry that I kind of just dis disappeared on you guys. Um, I know I didn't finish Vlogmas and I apologize. Um, things kind of got crazy and um, it just didn't work out. Um, to put it lightly, it was a train wreck. Um, so I did it as long as I could and then it just stopped working. Um, but I am finally back to do another video and I thought for today I would talk to y'all about my goals for the year. Um, I don't know, I don't really believe in actual like resolutions because to me um, when I think resolutions I think like totally crazy like I'm gonna lose 50 pounds this year like something that um, you don't usually stick with and that just doesn't really happen. Um, but I do like to at least set goals, so I thought I would share with y'all my top 10 goals for the year. So the first goal is, um, I want to make Colors for Kids an official organization. Um, I do a lot of things now. I collect coloring books and crayons and, um, I get a lot of support from that and that's great but I just want to make it an official organization so that way um, I have, you know, so it's official and also because then um, like stores are more willing to help and then I can get even more donations that way. So I just, I want to make it official um, that way we can accomplish even more. Number two is to be a better friend. Um, I'm not a bad friend. But I feel like I could be a better friend and so I just I want to work on that this year and um, try try to be there more for people when they need me and um, be more open and like understanding and just just overall just like I said be a better friend all right the next few kind of go together um, but the th my third goal is to dig deeper into the Word of God. Um, I really I want to start reading my Bible more. Um, I have an audio Bible and it um, I love it, but it's like it's it's really big and not not very portable. Um, but I still I want to start listening to that um, every day if possible, or at least as much as I can, and to just really like um, look dig into it and like. Um, just think about everything, you know, a little bit at a time. Not necessarily to read the entire Bible, but just to read um, some every day. Because I don't do that enough. Number four is I want to get more involved in my church. Um, they have different, I mean, like I go to church um, on Tuesdays nights. And um, I love it, but they also do other things um, outside of just the church service that I go to. And I, so I want to help out with that, help out with the little kids um, when they come, just um, and like help out with fundraisers and all, all kinds of different things, um, whatever the church may be doing. Number five is a real big one for me and something that I struggle with. Um, but I really want to try and work on and that is to trust God's plan um, I know God has a plan for me, and I know that everything happens for a reason when it's meant to happen But I struggle with that um, And this sounds ridiculous, but I struggle with that especially when it comes to finding the right guy for me um, I know that he will come into my life when he is supposed to and that I and, and I know that there is the right person for me but I still struggle with doubts about if there really is someone and like um I don't know and I struggle with the fact that I don't have anyone right now um and I I want to work on being more okay with the fact that it may be um five years from now or ten years from now or it could be that i find someone this semester like i just i just want to be more accepting of that um among other things but that's the biggest thing that i struggle with 
Um, number six is something I've wanted to do since junior year of high school, but I the opportunity hasn't hadn't really presented itself. Um, I didn't really know where I like I when I was in church in high school I'd never like knew when they were doing this and I so this year I want to go on a mission trip or at least start fundraising and doing things to um, go on a mission trip in the near future um, like I said in high school I, I went to church um, but they it wasn't really something that we talked about a lot um, but this year at my church they've discussed it and so um, I know more about like how to find out um, about getting to go on one and it's just I don't know like I have this really strong feeling that I should be should go on a mission trip this year um, and I don't know how much help I'll actually be but I at least want to go and help as much as I can. Number seven is I want to start vlogging more not just making videos uh, which I want to make more videos but I specifically want to start vlogging more it's something I've wanted to do a lot um, but it just hasn't really happened and this year I want to vlog as much as I can I'm not promising daily vlogs I don't know how often it's gonna be but I I definitely want to start vlogging more um, Actually, I plan on doing a vlog as soon as I get settled and in, resettled into school um, again. But that'll at least be a week or two from now, so we'll see. But I definitely want to start doing more vlogs because it's something I enjoy. Alright, number eight is kind of going, <clears throat> going back to the way I was in high school. Um, because this past semester was kind of hard because I'm used to getting all A's and B's. Um, in when I was in high school and getting two C's this semester was really hard for me um, not as hard as I thought because I know it's college and it's a lot harder so I was just glad to pass but um, my goal for this year um, specifically this semester is to get all A's and B's I think I can do it um, it's my second semester so it's not going to be quite as big of an adjustment as for the first semester was um, so I I'm gonna shoot for it I won't you know I won't be too upset if I don't get it but I'm definitely gonna try to get all A's and B's um, this semester number nine is I want to finish writing my self-help book a few years ago I started writing a self-help book for blind and visually impaired teenage girls um, just to help with anything from surviving high school to going on dates and going to parties all, all kinds of things um, that you know when you're sighted you don't think is nece don't necessarily think is that hard or that big of a deal but when you can't see I mean it's more of a challenge to go to a party and have a good time or to you know like know certain things about going on dates and like how to plan a date when you can't see like just things like that so I am I started a couple years ago and I've worked on it a little bit at a time um, like since then but I am determined to finish it and not just let it sit there anymore um, so I hope by the my goal is to finish it by the end of the year. And last but not least, goal number ten, I want to learn how to use public transportation in my area um, by myself. I've ridden buses and trains and planes um, before, but I want to start learning how to do this kind of stuff by myself. Um, especially with buses um, I would like to be able to get around uh, out like you know areas outside of my college by myself without having to rely s quite so much on uh, my friends and it would just be nice to um, know how to use the public transportation in my area if I need to go somewhere and I can't get a ride 
Um, but those are my ten or top ten goals for 2015. Um, I'm curious, what are you? What are some of your goals or resolutions for the year, if you have any? Um, and like, do and I'm curious, do you do y'all believe in resolutions or do y'all kind of think that they're a waste of time and that people don't stick to them? Um, so leave your comments down below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I will see you on the next one. Bye.